Hello everyone, welcome to Spiritual Butterfly. Today I will be doing a new moon reading for the air signs. That is Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. These messages will not resonate with everyone. I ask that you take what does, apply it, and leave the rest. So I'm going to jump right into it and see what message your spirit has for you. Remember to like the video and subscribe to the channel. So the new moon is going to be taking place on December 14th slash December 15th, depending on where you live in the world. With any new moon cycle, you can expect for some major changes to take place, new beginnings, um, just really experiencing the beginning of new cycles and the ending of old ones. This new moon is going to take place in the sign of Sagittarius. So with this new moon being in Sagittarius, some of you may experience a burst of energy in terms of your creativity, in terms of really wanting to pursue your passions, your goals. You are really going to become very emboldened when it comes to pursuing the things that you love, creating new opportunities for yourself. So those are just a few things that will be taking place during this cycle. So I'm going to start off by pulling an overall message. So Spirit, what messages do you have for the air signs? New moon messages for the air signs. I have success. Okay. Yes. Making it to success. Whatever this is for you, whether this is something that has to do with your career or relationship or just something personal, it's like you're making it to the pentacle. You're making it where you want to be. You've done the work, you've invested. And now you're seeing everything that you put into the situation start to pay off. So let's get one more message. It's like you climbed your way to the top. It was very difficult, but you climbed your way to the top of the mountain. I have walking away in the reverse and I have the thinking woman. You wanted to give up on the situation, but you didn't. You did not give up. A song just came to me. It says, I didn't make it this far. For God to leave me. I don't know if that is the exact words. But you didn't make it this far for God to leave you. You've come a very long way. You've gained so much. As a person. So much wisdom. Growth. God is with you. God has never left your side. Even though it may feel like it. Or it felt like it at times. God was still right there with you. Let's pull some tarot. Yes, you were never alone. And I'm just looking at the butterfly on the wall. This is spirit. Despite how alone you may have felt at times, spirit was right there with you, guiding you. Look at the books, knowledge. You gain so much insight as a person. You have learned how to maneuver through life. How to go after the things you want. With clarity. 
understanding the process. It's like whenever you thought you were ready to give up, God would appear and give you a little bit more hope to continue pursuing your goal, your passion, to continue working on yourself. Page of Wands, I have the Page of Swords, and I have the Ace of Wands in the reverse. So let's get one more message. I have the Knight of Wands in the reverse. You decided to take a leap of faith when it came to a new opportunity. And I'm just looking at this page of swords and the thinking woman, you've gained a lot of insight. Like you've done the work that needed to be done in order for you to pursue whatever it is you've been thinking about. And with this Ace of Wands in the reverse, it's like, even though you did the work, you still didn't trust yourself. You still didn't believe that you were going to get what you wanted, that you were going to get what you were seeking. The butterfly, you wanted to give up. All of the time that you invested into the situation, you still wanted to give up because you didn't see things working out the way you wanted them to. But spirit would always send something in your path, whether it's an encouraging word from, from someone, whether it's, I heard music for some of you, you get messages through music. Spirit will send something, a message that kept you focused so that you wouldn't give up on this despite the challenges. Spirit wanted you to continue believing in yourself. You have what it takes. The issue is your belief. You've come far. You just have to believe that you can do it. You can accomplish this. Let's clarify the messages. Yes, you wanted to give up. I just keep looking at this walking away. You wanted to give up on the situation. But you stayed, despite the challenges, despite how difficult it looked. Spirit wanted you to believe that you can still see success. Despite what's before you, you can have it. You can have what you want. You can have the new beginning you desire. You just have to continue putting forth the action. I have the Hierophant. For some of you, this is about reconciliation. This is about you taking a chance on a relationship. And believing that it's going to work this time. Believing that things are going to be different than they were the last time. 
Let's get a message for the Page of Swords. Believing that everything that you've invested was not wasted. That it still meant something. I have justice. And I have the sun in the reverse. So <clears throat> it's like you saw success, but you didn't see the success you wanted. Things were working out for you, but it's like you wanted more. You wanted there to be more. And your focus was on having more that you didn't really appreciate the small changes, the small successes that you were seeing. Things were working out for you or things are working out for you, but the issue is your perception. You have done the work. I feel like in this situation, both of you have done the work. No, things may not be moving at the rate that you want, but it's still moving. It's still flowing. You are going to get there if you continue to invest. Let's get a message for the Ace of Wands. I have the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Yes, failure in the reverse. Trust yourself. You are moving in the right direction. Things are turning around for you. It may not be happening at the rate that you want it to, but you are no longer at failure. Everything you're investing is working out, is growing, is prospering. You are seeing a return on your effort. Trust yourself. Don't doubt what you're seeing. Don't doubt what you are feeling. It is going to be different this time because you're both committed to making this work. Let's get a message for the Knight of Wands. And you've done the work. I feel like you've both done the work on yourselves. I, I heard separation. So you may have been separated for a period of time. And it's like coming back together, you're both very different because you've gone through your transformations. You've evolved. And again, Spirit says, just when you feel like giving up, there I send a message to you. There I send encouragement to you. There's something that spirit does whenever you feel like giving up. And this helps you to move forward, whether it's a certain song that may come on the radio, whether it's someone that you may bump into and they just speak into you, speak into your life. And I heard stranger. For some of you, it may be a stranger or you may have had many encounters with strangers and maybe you just started talking to them and they would say something that would give you the encouragement that you needed. It's like you want to give up, but God keeps giving you signs that you're headed in the right direction. Three of Swords. There was some betrayal. 
there was some heartache, some pain that took place. And this is why you may not feel the same way you once did. This is why you may not trust the situation because of things that have taken place in the past. It's like I'm wiser now. I know better. But you've invested so much. And Spirit says don't keep focusing on the past. Because if you do, how are you going to be able to move forward? Like, how are you going to truly get to the sun? Not in reverse, but upright when you're getting everything that you want. How are you going to get there if you continue to focus on the past? If you continue to bring up the past? It's time for you to release. To let go. So I'm going to pull one more message. Judgment, yes. Everything is going to work out in your favor. It's like what your relationship once was is not what it is now. Or it's not what it's going to become. Sometimes in relationships, well, let me say this. Every relationship has different seasons, different cycles. And sometimes you have to go through very difficult periods in order to see your relationship transform into something that you want, that you desire, what you've been praying for. Your prayers have been answered. And for some of you, if you're still waiting, your prayers are going to be answered. But it's like you just have to make it through this difficult period. In order for this relationship to be strengthened. So it can become this shadow that you see. Spirit says, I'm dressing you up. Yes, I'm dressing you up. I'm molding you. I'm building you into who I need you to be. You know, sometimes we be so focused on the other person that we forget about ourselves. The things that we need to change, the things that we need to focus on to become better. And that's what Spirit is doing, is dressing you up into who you need to be. Spirit isn't just working on this person, but Spirit is working on you as well. So that you can both be balanced. So that you can bring balance to each other's lives. Yes, I'm dressing you up. I'm molding you into who you need to be. Judgment. Everything is going to work out in your favor. If you continue to trust. Yes, the thinking woman wisdom. You're becoming different. You're changing. In order to see this relationship change. In order to see this relationship grow. You have to change. Both of you. You have to become the change that you want to see. Everything starts with you. The small successes that you're seeing now is going to lead to something bigger. You just have to believe. Let's get one more message. I have the universe has big plans for me and it's time to claim it. Yes, claim it, receive it, believe it. Spirit has big plans for you and spirit has big plans for this relationship. I heard a divine purpose. There's a purpose that both of you must fulfill together. You know, sometimes things happen to break you apart so that you won't reach your destiny. That is why Spirit wants you to continue to move forward with this. Spirit wants you to continue to invest in this because your purpose is bigger than you. The destiny of this relationship is bigger than you and the person that you're connected to. There's something that needs to be completed within this connection. That is why things seem so hard and so difficult. 
because of this divine purpose. Spirit has big plans. Trust God's plan. So I hope that these messages resonated. Remember to stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Everyone stay blessed.